Okay, so welcome to this next uh, video in the playlist on functional analysis. Uh, so we're going to continue with our study of metric spaces, uh, and uh, we now begin the topics uh, of open and closed sets, which are really, really important uh, in, metric, in the theory of metric spaces. Uh, and we're firstly going to start off with a few definitions. So, um, definitions then. So the first definition we're going to need is the definition of an open ball. So an open ball. So um, the starting point for everything is that we have some metric space which consists of a set. So we have a set, um, let's say big X, and then we have lots of little points in this set, and we have a distance function defined on it, a metric which satisfies our four axioms of a metric space, okay? Uh, so we've just got a set with a metric defined on it, so if you have any two points in this uh, in this set, x and little x and little y, uh, then the distance between x and y is some uh, non-negative real number. Okay, uh, so now the concept of an open ball uh, is... Um, so uh, the ball, the open ball, given this uh, notation, b... Uh, centered around some point, let's say little x, and then you need to give it a radius, so r, where r is some real number greater than zero. Uh, and this is defined to be equal to all the points, or the, uh, let's not use, let's say little y, all the little y is an element of the set x, uh, such that the distance between x and what little y is less than r. Okay, uh, so uh, this basically is a set consisting of all the points, all the points in the metric space whose distance away from x uh, is less than r, strictly less than r. So uh, if we consider um, our, if we consider our, the motivation for calling this an open ball is that if you consider the metric space r free. Uh, with the usual Euclidean metric on it, i.e. Uh, if you have uh, two vectors, x is equal to x1, x2, x3, i.e. you need three coordinates to specify a point. So if you have a picture, uh, you need an x1 coordinate, let's say this is the x1 coordinate, so something along there. You need an x2 coordinate, and you need an x3 coordinate to specify it, so it's a vector up here somewhere, let's say. Uh, and we have another vector, y, which is equal to y1, uh, y2, y3, so some other uh, vector in here, let's say there, uh, then uh, the distance between x and y is defined to be equal to the square root of um, y1 minus x1 squared plus y2 minus x2 squared uh, plus y3 minus x3 squared, and we've checked in previous videos uh, that this is indeed a metric space. Okay, uh, so uh, if we uh, consider what an open ball is in this metric space, then um, if we, uh, if we uh, draw r3 here, so let's have r3 here, and we have some little point down here which is x, uh, and we want the ball around x of radius r, then this is equal to all points, all points y, which are elements of r3, such that uh, the distance between x and y is less than r. So in this case, it does form a ball around x. So that's all the points whose distance away from this point x uh, is less than r. Uh, so in fact, uh, I've drawn this slightly misleadingly because the way I've drawn it suggests that it includes the boundary points. It does not include those points that are at distance r. So uh, let's draw another one here. Let's say this is now x. And the way you more often draw it is you draw it with a dashed line to show uh, that it does not include the boundary Boundary. Uh, so it does not include the points which are actually at the distance r, but includes, uh, if I get my big blue pen, it includes all the points in a sphere, um, a, well, not a sphere, a, um, in a ball uh, around that point x0. Uh, so all the points whose distance is less than, r, uh, less than this little r from that um, point x. That's the uh, concept of an open ball. So that's the motivation for calling it an open ball, and there's a very vivid uh, visualisation of this uh, concept in uh, the metric space R3. So now, uh, let's uh, define another concept, which is the concept of the closed ball. So the closed ball is similar to this, 
uh, again, we start with a metric space, X and D, so we have some set with some metric defined on it. Uh, then the closed ball around a point, given the symbol B tilde, um, X, R, yeah, so you need again to specify a point in the metric space, so X is some point in the metric space, and R is a real number greater than zero, uh, then this is defined to be equal to uh, the set of all points little y, which are an element of the set X, such that the distance between X and Y is less than or equal to R. So again, if we use the example of R3, so if our metric space is R3 uh, with the Euclidean metric on, i.e. we've got the Euclidean free space here, uh, then uh, if, I take, if I take a point X in R3 and I consider the uh, closed ball around closed ball around x of um, radius r, so b tilde, uh, then this actually includes the boundary point. So this includes all the points uh, that are at uh, distance r from x. So it includes all the points that are closer than r uh, to x, so all the points within the ball, but it also includes the points at the boundary. Uh, so the, I've drawn it like it's 2D, but of course this is, goes into 3D, so it's a three-dimensional ball like this. Um, Okay, and uh, th all of those points are in this set now, and that's the closed ball around the point X of radius R. Okay, and then the final concept we need is the concept of a sphere. A sphere. Okay, and this is given the symbol S, X, R. So the sphere centered at the point X of radius R. Again, we're working in some uh, defined metric space, at big X, which is the set, and D, which is the distance function between all of the points. Uh, so it states the distance between each of the points. And little x is just some, little x is just some element of big X. Uh, then this sphere is defined to be um, all points in X, in big X. So all little y is an element of big X such that the distance between little x and little y is actually exactly equal to r. So again, if we have our picture in R3, then uh, let's say we have some point up here, which is x, then the actual sphere is just the set of points which is actually on the boundary. So it's only the black line now. Uh, so that is it, all of those points, but not the points inside that boundary. Uh, so in this case, where we have the closed ball, it was the boundary, and it, it also included all the points inside uh, there. Now, in this case, you don't include all the points. This is a set containing just the points on the boundary of the, of the ball, and that forms a sphere, a two-sphere. Uh, so that's why this is called a sphere. But of course, this, is, this isn't just defined in, um, in R3 uh, with the Euclidean metric on. It's defined in any metric space. You can define these concepts. They won't be the intuitive uh, pictures that we have here, uh, but these are the, this is the motivation for why they are called open balls, closed balls, and uh, spheres. Okay, uh, so uh, a, a, a identity that holds in any metric space is that uh, if you union, if you uh, union together the open ball around a point uh, x of radius r, and you union together, union that with the sphere um, uh, center, uh, around center the x uh, with radius r, then the picture is that we have some po uh, in R3, we have some point X here, we have the open ball around there, um, so that's all the points within this line, so I should have drawn it dashed line, and then we also add on all the points at the boundary, then that's going to be equal to the closed ball uh, at centre uh, at the point X of radius R. So this is all the points, all the points in the metric space which are exactly distance R from the point X, this is all the points uh, in the metric space uh, that are less than uh, distance r, uh, distance r from the point x, and this is all the points that are less than or equal to. So if you union together all of these points, you'll get that set here. Okay, and just one last thing I want to say in this video uh, is that um, the uh, ball, uh, the open ball, centered that a point x. Uh, Center that a point x of radius r uh, includes the point x itself. Includes the point x itself. So x is an element of its own ball. Uh, so that's uh, that should be intuitive because uh, the ball, 
uh, of um, ball center the x of radius r is equal to the set of all points in x uh, such that the distance between x and y is less than r. The distance between x and itself, the distance between x and itself, by axiom 2 of metric spaces is equal to 0. So it is certainly less than r. So x should be an element of this set. So that's just an important uh, thing to note, that uh, the uh, ball around any point uh, x of radius r is never going to be empty. It's never going to be an empty set. It will always uh, contain the point x itself because r is a real is a positive real number. Uh, so you always have at least one point in this open ball. And of course, the closed ball is made up of this uh, this open ball union, this ball, so uh, the union, this sphere rather. Uh, therefore, this one's never going to be empty either. Uh, this one potentially could be empty though. Uh, there's nothing saying that that one is does is not necessary. Is a, is necessarily is not empty. So the sphere could be empty. Okay, and in the next video we will see examples of uh, these concepts, these concepts of open balls, closed balls and spheres in more abstract metric spaces than R3.